Causes of vaginitis Variable Bacterial vaginosis Trichomonas Yeast So the most common cause is Bacterial vaginosis That will be 15 to 50 percent 5 to 50 percent will be trichomonas Yeast 15 to 30 percent Etiology reflects a shift in vaginal flora Whereas trichomonas, protozoal flagellates and STD Usually yeast will be candida albicans Risk factors for the bacterial vaginosis is pregnancy Greater than when one sexual partner Female sexual partner and frequent dodging Dodging means female is trying to clean the vagina Vaginal flora you can say Trichomonas unprotected sex with multiple partners So for the yeast Diabetes mellitus Broad spectrum antibiotic use Pregnancy corticosteroids Will be the risk factors HIV OCP use Increased frequency of intercourse So next Will be the history for the bacterial vaginosis order will be there increase in discharge increase in the discharge order same like uh, bacterial vaginosis in trichomonas so always remember there will be a itching pruritus and dysuria will be there in trichomonas pruritus dysuria will also be there in uh, candidiasis or um, yeast Pruritus, dysuria, and burning and increased discharge, whitish discharge. So, exam will be mild volvular irritation for the trichomonas, strawberry, petechiae, in the upper vagina cervix, and for the yeast, there will be redness, erythematous, excoriated vulva or vagina. So, discharge for the exam, you need to remember the discharge. For the bacterial vaginosis, there will be homogeneous, grayish, white, fishy, stable order. There will be, you have to remember, grayish, white, fishy. Gray, grayish, white, fishy for bacterial vaginosis. But for the trichomonas, remember yellow, green, frothy. Profuse, malodorous, yellow, green, frothy. Yellow, green, frothy. So for the yeast, thick white curdy texture without order. Let me review, review it again. And if their question is saying grayish white fishy, or the question is saying yellow green frothy, so always remember grayish white fishy with the bacterial vaginosis. Yellow green frothy will be trichomonas. Wet mount will be. When you will do wet mount, you get closed cells in the case of bacterial vaginosis. Epithelial cells coated with bacteria, shift in vaginal flora, increase cocci or decrease lactobacilli. For the trichomonas, motile trichomonads, flagellated organisms that are slightly larger than WBCs. So for the yeast, there is no any wet mount test or um, you can say there is no any type of uh, flagellated organism or like that. So if we have to do potassium hydroxide preparation. There will be positive whiff test, fishy smell. There will be fishy smell, always think about bacterial vaginosis. And for the yeast, there will be hyphae. Treatment, remember for the bacterial vaginosis, per oral or vaginal metronidazole. What is that? Flagell or vaginal clindamycin. You give per oral vaginal metronidazole or vaginal clindamycin. For the trichomonas, single dose per oral metronidazole or tinidazole, tinidazole. And always remember treat partners, test for other STD. You have to remember that treat the partner and test for other STDs, maybe syphilis and other diseases. So for the yeast or candida, candidiasis, apply topical azole 
or per oral fluconazole. Now let me review about the complications of bacterial vaginosis. What do you think? There will be a chorioamnionitis, endometritis, endometrium inflammation of endometrium, chorioamnionitis will be the placental wall or uh, amniotic uh, layers, inflammation of that. So there will be infection of course. Preterm uh, delivery will be there in the case of bacterial vaginosis because we remember in pregnancy was the risk factor. So, so the complication will be miscarriage and pelvic inflammatory disease. And for the trichomonas, same as for bacterial vaginosis. Let me review about. If there are many WBCs and no organism on saline smear, suspect chlamydia. It's very, very important for the USML exam. You have to suspect chlamydia. Thank you very much for listening. So, here are the pictures. The causes of vaginitis continued. So, candidal vaginitis. So, here this is like um, candida albicans organisms are evident on potassium hydroxide wet mount you see so here is the uh, bacterial vaginosis which is caused by gardnerella vaginalis so note the granular epithelial cells close cells and in indistinct cell margins so these are the close cells remember for the bacterial vaginosis